Hey citizens, thanks for stopping by. In today's video presentation, we're going to take you for an up close and personal of the 2020 Cherry Tigo 5X. The particular sample that is going to be featured in today's video is a 1.5 AT that is mated to a CVT or continuously variable transmission. And for today's video, I'm going to take this Tigo 5X for a full walk around review, showing you the most interesting features from the interior as well as the exterior. So, what are you waiting for? Let's sit back, relax, and enjoy of this review. First of all, I would like to extend a big thanks and shout out to Cherry Ido Ido for allowing me to review their brand new units. For more information, see the description box below. So, here's the key. Let's go ahead and get started. Upon pressing and hold the unlock button, you can able to roll down all four windows in the car simultaneously. Unfortunately, you can't roll back the windows up using the key fob itself. Instead, you have to get inside the car and roll back up all four windows using the window controls. A smart key access system comes as standard in all variants except the 1.5 MT. Please make sure that the key fob is in yourself and as you can see the doors are currently unlocked. To lock, press the black button found on the driver's side door handle and to unlock, press that button again. To start the 5X, make sure that the key fob is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake and hit this engine start stop button to go. Um, but for now, we could not able to do that. But for the meantime, let's press this button without pressing the brake. If you push this once, it goes to your uh, accessory mode. If you push this twice, you're now in a. Um, your electronics of the car are turned on. The Cherry Tigo 5X is featured with an electric power steering system. Standard on a 1.5 AT variant is a 3-spoke polyurethane steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2, chrome highlights that surround each 3 spokes, and mounted controls are found at the 2 steering wheel spokes. A CVT or continuously variable transmission is paired on a 1.5 liter naturally aspirated petrol engine. A CVT is a version of a regular automatic gearbox with a limitless amount of gear ratios, giving a smoother ride, less fuel consumption, and an unnoticeable change while driving. Featuring on this is a sequential manual shifting using via the plus and minus on your gear shifter. A reverse camera with active guidelines is standard on a Tigo 5X AT.
a 1.5 liter dual overhead cam 16 valves and naturally aspirated inline four cylinder petrol engine with variable valve timing is the heart of the Cherry Tigo 5X. The power delivery takes 114 horsepower at 6150 RPM, while the torque delivery takes 141 Newton meters at 3800 RPM. Fuel tank size takes 51 liters with compliance of Euro 5. A 5 speed manual or a CVT is the transmission choice for this engine, and the drivetrain of the Tigo 5X is a front wheel drive vehicle. The Cherry Tigo 5X is a subcompact crossover SUV by Cherry. This was the shorter version of its bigger brother Tigo 8, which is the flagship mid size 7 seater crossover SUV. Launched in the Philippines way back November 2019, the Cherry Tigo 5X and the rest of the models is the perfect match between price and specs. If you noticed, crossovers are getting leveled up in terms of customer demands or sales. Well, somebody says, come on, let's be practical. In turn, crossovers are the next stars on the roads rather than a sedan or a hot hatch. Here's the question, is the Cherry Tigo 5X will be the budget-friendly crossover with loads of features that you need? Let's find out. Generally, if you compare both the Tigo 5X and the Tigo 8, they are relatively the same in terms of its exterior design architecture. But the Tigo 5X is shorter than Tigo 8, and on its size, it's easy to maneuver especially in tight corners. The design looks boxy with a few curvy lines give the car a uniqueness of its own. Hence, the design reminds me of a bulldog from a person's point of view. Up front, you're greeted with a large but not so massive tiger crouching front grille giving the car an animalistic look, just like a bulldog as said before, or a character of an online game like Among Us. The front grille lined with chrome accents that runs across the headlights with a cherry badge in the middle, as well as the bottom part adds a luxurious feel, especially at the rear to make it sexier. Overall, the design and structure of the Tigo 5X don't look aggressive, but it has sharp characteristics with a little bit of cuteness. If you're going to ask me, the Cherry Tigo 5X is more practical than the Tigo 2. Also, it does feature plenty of advanced technology throughout the car makes your life easier. One thing for sure, this modern cutie crossover SUV is value for money. The variant that I featured in today's video is a 1.5 AT. Now, let's have a little comparison between the regular 1.5 AT and the 1.5 Luxury AT and see the differences in terms of features and alike. The features on the 1.5 Luxury AT that the 1.5 AT variant doesn't have are the power folding heated side mirrors, remote start sequence, powered adjusted driver's seat, leather wrapped steering wheel, and shark fin antenna. On its rims, the 1.5 AT gets 16 inch monochrome alloys, while the 1.5 Luxury AT gets 17 inch mirror surfaced aluminum alloys. The interior of the Luxury variant of the Tigo 5X is more premium than the regular 1.5 AT. The materials have a more sporty funky feel on the 1.5 Luxury AT, while the regular 1.5 AT variant gets a perfect sporty and plain finish but premium in touch without a luxury. With all of these amazing features that are packed in on the Tigo 5X, can you purchase this car more than a million peso? No. The truth is, the Cherry Tigo 5X can be all yours from 818,000 to 950,000 Philippine pesos. Plus, they will offer you a warranty for up to 10 years for free, which includes PMS, general vehicle warranty, and engine train services. So, if you're looking for a budget-friendly crossover SUV aside from the Tigo 2 because that car was small enough, yes, it was small enough, and packed with advanced technology and premium features, the Cherry Tigo 5X would be your number one on the list. As of November 2019, three variants have offered 1.5 MT, 1.5 AT, and 1.5 Luxury AT. Exterior features for the Tigo 5X AT are equipped with halogen reflector headlights, LED daytime running lights, Cherry's Tiger Crouching black front grille with chrome highlighted strip found at top and bottom, rear fog lights, front and rear intermittent windshield wipers, front and rear silver body skid plates, indicators on the body colored side mirrors, body colored door handles, lower side claddings with silver highlights, roof rails, 3D hollow smoke taillights, chrome strip rear bar, and rear spoiler with high mount stop light. The Cherry Tigo 5X AT are offered with safety features such as two airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, emergency brake assist, electronic stability program, traction control system, Hill Assist Control, Cruise Control, Tire Pressure Monitoring System, ELR Seat Belts, ISOFIX Child Seats and Tether Anchors for the rear seats, Electronic Anti-Theft, 
and engine immobilizer. The Tiggo 5X80 is fitted on 16-inch monochrome alloy rims with a tire size of 21565R16. Ventilated disc brakes and solid disc brakes are applied for both front and rear wheels. Front suspension gets McPherson struts while the rear suspension gets torsion beam setup. Speaker right there, right up here, bottle holder, storage, window controls, all four windows in this car are fully powered and all of the windows in this car gets an automatic down function. Window lock, central locking, brightness adjuster dial, mirror controls, Hill descent control, your traction control. This lever right here pops up your bonnet. Uh, I do believe this is your two card slots. Pull this lever to release your fuel door. The driver's seat of this uh, Cherry T Go 5X gets a fully manual adjustment. Seat back, height adjuster, and your sliding position controls. You have the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side. However, it loses out on a height adjuster. There is a storage net. Right uh, beside of the front passenger's footwell. All right. Let's go ahead and check out the inside features. center armrest and underneath you have a good size amount of storage area two cup holders with a cover here are your shortcut buttons with your home button set or settings and your telephone button your volume power knob uh, later on, I will show you this one uh, at the portion of an infotainment system, which I'm going to dis demonstrate later on. And yeah. This car is featured with an electronically controlled parking brake. To disengage the parking brake, put your foot on the brake and then simply push the toggle down. And to activate again, simply 
pulled back up you tiered with an auto hold function whereby when you arrive at a stop such as a traffic light or a traffic jam if you lift your foot off the brake uh, the car won't actually move forward or roll back some more storage with your two power outlets and you can use this ash if you want to to you know have some cigarette something else or why not you have your two usb ports got your standard climb control system with your fan speed to the right temperature dial to the left different modes air conditioning recirculation front and rear defrost and you can uh, uh you can control your uh you can control your climb control system by using this uh infotainment system right here air you can you can turn off this air conditioning using that button right here an integrated touchscreen head unit is standard for the tico 5 x80 that features a 10 inch led display various media connectivity options and six speakers for the sound system Awkwardness, put on my boots and a lily white dress. A million words, but how to express what I'm feeling when I see you? You flash a smile, I'm like, Is this happening? I look your way and then, of course, drop everything. You walk over and ask if I'm alright. Hey, whatever it takes to break the ice. The sound system of the uh, Cherry Tigo 5X works uh, fairly fine. Currently you are in a main menu. Now before we could uh, go through this kind of menu, uh, let's swipe down. Uh, here is your uh, climb control system for your infotainment system as I showed you recently. Now let's go to your music. On your music, currently you are in a Bluetooth audio streaming with your song duration, uh, seek track, your plain pause, the title of the song, artist, If we go back, here are your media selections with your radio, uh, music, image, videos, video, and media settings. On your media settings, you can adjust your, uh, sorry, you can enable or disable your key tone, loudness, default volume. You can adjust the default volume, you can adjust the speed volume, sound effect, volume, and you can reset the oh, sound effect. Let's go to sound effect. You can adjust your different sets of equalizers. You can adjust your um, bass, middle, treble, volume. You can adjust your volume, media volume, your phone volume. You can reset your uh, default settings. And that's it. Now move on to the your uh, phone book. Now while syncing, let's go to the 
uh, it's uh, options you got your recent dial uh, go to contacts that is syncing so go to bluetooth settings uh, on the bluetooth settings you got your name of your device which is the infotainment system what i mean your discoverables discoverable settings you can on and off the discoverable settings search devices pair devices available devices so on and so forth now lastly you are in a cloud cloud drive settings uh, cloud drive menu sorry you have your settings apple carplay baidu car life user's manual go to settings now as i mentioned you have your bluetooth uh, settings sound settings and all that now let's proceed to display on the display you got your screen switch means that you can turn off the display adjust your brightness uh, customize your wallpaper if you want to your different themes or reset your default settings on a vehicle you can dis enable or disable your auto door lock DRLs you can enable or disable your rear camera Oh. you can turn on the rear camera by swiping from off to on security tips speed alarm uh, you can you can uh, change your language adjust your instrument time adjust your instrument backlight or reset your default settings now go for the system uh, you can uh, change your radio area change your phone link here are the versions of your infotainment system here's the version of your infotainment system Or you can factory reset or reset your overall uh, settings on your infotainment um, whether you uh, delete uh, certain data or something like that and that's about it to go to your home menu as I mentioned before uh, you can use this shortcut buttons to go through your different certain menus on the right side of your infotainment system there is a air convent right here right here is your hazard switch and right above is another air vent which is pretty unique as well um, they designed it a uh, sort of like a European style something like that on the left is your light and indicator controls All on the right side is your wiper controls. On the steering wheel, the left spoke has your cruise control with your speed limiter controls. And these buttons right here correspond to control the multi-information display right within the instrument gauge.
while on the right side is your seek track buttons your mode button your volume controls on hook and off hook buttons for your bluetooth telephone menu voice recognition system and your mute button right here The steering wheel on this car is tilt only, adjusting using this lever right here. Central locking. Mirror controls. No grip handles for this one. The driver's side sun visor does get a vanity mirror. Interior lights. Sunglass holder. And a manual dimming rear view mirror. Just it. There you go. The front passenger side sun visor does get a vanity mirror. You have grip handle on the ceiling for the front passenger side. What a perfect size amount of glove box with your uh, owner's manual, your maintenance manual, your service warranty, or whatnot. All right. So that's it for this one. You can turn it off right now. and continue with the rest of our review.
speaker right there and right up here you can use this as your storage or you can use it to store your bottle holder uh, i'm sorry your bottles your yeah your bottles uh, not your cups because otherwise uh, it will go something wrong with it but yeah um we do have a control to fold down the rear seat back or seat backs use this uh lever right here just pull it and fold the rear seat back down in order to in order you to increase the space on the boot always make sure that your seat belt is right uh, in front of the seat back so that the seat belt won't obstruct you You do have adjustable headrests, front and rear. And the doors open quite wide in an almost like 90, good, 90 degree angle which provides you easy entrance and exit. I do set the driver's seat in a position that I feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 9 which is about 1.7 meters tall. I do have the room to stretch out my feet underneath at the driver's seat as for leg room. I have this much. While I have this much in terms of headroom, well I could say that the space inside the Cherry Tigo 5X is pretty um, surprising. Uh, the space is quite uh, generous. Um, the seats with this nicely padded leather leather upholstery gives you a nice uh, support and as I lay down on the seat back of the uh, the 5x it has a slightly bolstered uh, slightly bolster feel which gives you a nice support to it and overall the back seat of the Cherry Tico 5X is pretty spectacular, including the front seats, which has a nice uh, bolsterings to have a good support. Storage pockets on the front seat backs. There's also a storage. And there's another storage right down here. No center armrest for this one, but you do also have a grip handle at the ceiling with hooks on both sides for the rear. To open up the rear hatch, go towards the hatch itself and locate the touchpad over the number plate. 493 liters is the total measurement of the Tigo 5X's boot space when all rear seats are in place. Fold down the rear seats for extra cargo space. An illuminating light found on the left side of the boot and underneath at the boot floor are your spare tire, toolkit, 
Jack and Warning Triangle. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this full walk around review of the 2020 Cherry Tigo 5X 1.5 that is mated to a CVT. If you like this video, make sure you thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell button to get notified for my latest updates. And don't forget, follow all of my social media platforms. As always, I'll see you next time with for more latest videos on YouTube. Thank you for watching and mabuhay!